Okay, semester is over. Time to enter in the final grades. So we're going to go to the My Mercer Faculty Staff Portal page and click on Web Advisor for Faculty, then click Faculty Information. And this is going to bring up the familiar drop-down, and from this drop-down you're going to select Grading. Now we're going to select the semester uh, for which we want to enter the grades. So you could either enter in the start and end date of the term, or you can simply select the term from the drop-down menu here. So I'm clicking on the drop-down. I'm going to select Summer 2013, and then click the Submit button. And this will load up a list of all the courses which need to be graded for that semester. I've only got one here, so I'm going to click on the radio button just to the left of the course title right here. And then from the drop down that says final or midterm slash intermediate grading right here, I'm going to select final because we are entering in the final grades. So then I'm going to click on the submit button. So this is where you're going to enter in the grades for all of the students for the semester. Uh, now I have up here on the screen for you the grading scales for Mercer for our regular courses and our foundation courses. Our grading scale for standard courses is A, A minus, B plus, B, B minus, C plus, C, D, F, or I. And then for foundations courses it's A, A minus, B plus, B, B minus, C plus, C, N, C, or I. So this is a standard course. This is not a foundations course. So I'm going to just enter in the grades for my students. So Joan here did a great job this semester. She earned an A minus in the course. And Lorraine, she did pretty well. She got a B in the course. Now Hugh here, Hugh was a little bit of a problem student. He didn't get all of his work done on time. And I've decided I'm going to give him an extension. Let him try and get everything done. He had some personal issues. We're going to work with him here. So I'm going to give Hugh a grade of I for incomplete. Now once you enter in an incomplete grade for a student for a semester, you have to enter an expiration date. The expiration date is the date by which the student's work is expected to be submitted. So I'm going to give Hugh an expired date of September 30th, 2013. And if the student takes longer than that, or if uh, the semester has been closed completely, you will have to contact the registrar if the student turns in their work uh, late and or the expiration date extends past the date for which the semester is closed. You will have to contact the registrar's office uh, so that they can manually override the entry of the grade and will um, put in the appropriate grade instead of the incomplete. So once you've got all of your grades entered, everything's ready to go, click the Submit button, and then you'll see we have our grades have been submitted for our students for this semester. And that's all you have to do. Just click on the OK button, and that'll take you out of the form, and the grades for that course have been submitted.